All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, how you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing all right because we're about to venture back into corporate dystopia. Well, let's, uh, before we even do that, let's talk to all our crewmates. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. Oh, that whiskey to get my headache and something fierce. Feels like a primal's chewing on my skull. Let's get you some water. Uh, did you talk to June Lei? Was there something you wanted, or...? I messaged June Lei when we got back, and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. <laughs> okay. Uh... Not bad so far. Uh, not to ask for spoilers, but will we be drinking again tonight? Uh, were there any funny typos? Oh, she called mashed potatoes smashed potatoes, but I think maybe that's just what they call them on Groundbreaker. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. So June Lee does like you. Uh, the Isabella crisis was all about a big misunderstanding. Glad we <laughs> wasted time drinking because June Lee is a bad writing. This is just uh, if you two get uh, to marry, I'll be saying, <laughs> just kidding, unless you're not. Isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal, and I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. Not a problem. That was sweet. That was incredibly sweet. Oh, we get a nice view of the groundbreaker from right here. Just a massive ship. No big deal. So am I able to fix you? No. Nobody's in here. This is somebody's room, but... Oh, it, it's, um... Fuck, what was his name? I'm forgetting his name. Felix. Okay. Vicar Max. Nope, no, I want to put the gun away. There we go. Uh, so did we learn anything? By verity, by strength. What are we contemplating today? Um. Wanted to ask you about the book. Does it have many, does it have something to do with your religion? Let's talk about this uh, personal quest of yours. Of course. Are you ready to break into security on the Groundbreaker? I thought I already did. Hold on, what? Oh, wait, was I not able to hack it? If I can access the data cartridge from the terminal in security, I can easily hack into their arrivals and departures registry. That'll give us dates, times, and the crew manifests for every registered ship. I'll comb the last six months of departure manifests to track the Philosophist's off-world destination. Okay. Cool. Hey, Ellie. Something on your mind? If we're going to work together, I'd like to know a little bit more about you. I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Really? Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero-G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. Okay. Well, uh, I don't want to hear anything about Corona anymore. <laughs> uh, I was hoping to know something more personal. Do you have much experience contracting out with other captains? 
What's a zero G cocktail? Sure do. Some of it was even legal. There's a lot of business that goes through the groundbreaker. Some of it's board authorized freight hauling and some of it's not. I've done all types of work with all kinds of crews. If there's one thing you ought to know about me, it's that I won't tell you your business. Your ship, your way. Sounds good. Sounds even more I keep things above board. Uh, as long as you know, I've never been much of a rule follower. Glad to hear it. It's worked for me this long. It's a mix of whatever you've got on hand. Usually zero G brew with some spectrum vodka if you're lucky. Purple berry shake if you're not. Okay. I'll make you one sometime. If you don't enjoy it, I'll make a few more until you do. <laughs> okay. Well, my blood type is AB positive. I'm a Leo, and I despise Space Hospital. Never mind what anyone else tries to tell you. That about covers it. I'm assuming Space Hospital is a show. Aw, oh, come on. That stuff's boring. You're deflecting. Look, the thing I've learned about living in close quarters is that you've got to give people room to breathe. I'm all for making a few bits together and having fun doing it, but let's keep a little professional distance. As you wish. No complaints here. All right, hope. Just stretching your legs, boss? A little bit. How you doing, Felix? Good to see you, boss. Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child. Definitely. Abandoned at birth in the back bays. Give me a straight answer, and you were raised by a pack of sprats, right? That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. You were stowaway. At least you were uh, obliged to anybody else. You were free. Uh, it was hard believing that you were invisible to anybody. Yeah, because I got sick of being ignored. Got sick of being a nobody. So yeah, I made some noise. Got in a couple scraps. Nobody else in the Groundbreaker is going to look after you. So you had to look after yourself. Learn that real quick. Right, uh... I like it when you make trouble. Helsian's got enough obedient little workers. Yeah, it really does. Uh, that, uh, that's how it is in this colony. Nobody gives a damn about you. Or maybe you should should have kept your head down and worked. That's exactly what I've been saying. The system doesn't care about the individual. We're only as valuable as our jobs. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. The foreman and I never got on. Uh, right, the incident with the toss ball stick. Yeah, when you cracked his head open. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? Restraint? Yeah, you overreacted a but lot. But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick? That felt good. That felt real good. You want to try it. I mean, I shoot people. <laughs> uh, one-handed. I know I've had plenty of just bludgeoning people you can't have couldn't have been diplomatic about it if we have a disagreement i expect you to be civilized yeah i mean in theory but i wouldn't have felt half as good i caught a real lucky break if you hadn't picked me up i'd still be back at the docks waiting for the day my ship arrives or somebody might have killed you uh please felix if i hadn't picked you up you'd probably be in a prison cell i'm glad you're not wasting your life hauling boxes you can thank me by not giving me any trouble thanks for the story yeah i guess my ship did arrive in the end i've got you to thank for that thanks for listening boss let's get going yep okay so that was the whole crew so let's head off to yep uh let's head off to monarch because i I think the reason we didn't do the whole uh, whole thing with the... I, I, you know what? We, we can check. 
The ship used to be much quieter. Oh, shut up, Ada. Oh my god. <laughs> Tell her to shut up and then crack my entire pelvis or some shit. Take someone to watch your back, please. Alright, so let's go. Vicar Max. You know, I wish this was an actual anatomy b diagram without. with a legend instead of just numbers. Okay. I apologize if I've done this already, but I can't remember why I couldn't hack that, so let's just see. Okay, what is that? Who is that? No. Oh, wrong button. Journal. Claim the bounty. Wait, who is that? Somebody, I did, wait, no. In, gro in the groundbreaker station, interesting. Uh, wait, nope, ask it about the same unit. We can do that on the, on the ship when we get back. Oh, it's through here. That's right. And that's why. Okay. Actually, do I have something in my inventory that can... Do that? Make... Uh, regeneration of health. Health. Healing. Healing. Nothing boosts my, uh... Wait, what, what is hacking under? Where is it? Hacking un is under stealth. And stealth is... <sighs> Sneak, hack, lo okay, lockpick. After 50, you can specialize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what does it do? Okay, never mind. I guess I can't really get that detailed. So let's, uh. What is this? Plus one to attribute. Mind attributes. Let's try that. Maybe that boosts my hacking ability? Nope. Mushroom would stop. Nope. Adrenaline. Oh, it's hold to use. Which one was that? That does. Okay, so they don't stack. So if I find a big one, it might cancel out. All right, well that sucks, but we'll have to come back then. I'm sure, not sure, I'm positive we're gonna be back because we have to talk to Gladys still. And I'd rather not spend a ton of money. Alright, so... Journal. Wait. Wait, what is this? Uh, pass it. Purchase the nav key from Gladys? No. Uh, where is it? She... On the door set, in the sick bay. Was it Roseway? What did she need us to do? What, what was the mission called?
Because she just she's going to give it to us for free if we just do what she wants us to do. And it's on Monarch, I believe. Or, no, maybe it's the Roseway thing. It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? Nah. Nah, nah. Um... Yes, dearie? Take that darling ship of yours down to Roseway. Right. Okay. Shouldn't... Goodbye. Anytime. Alright, so it is... Nope, that's not it. Okay, we're good. Just a little confusion at the start, but we're getting underway after 20 minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, we also have to ask about the SAM unit, which we will ask about and probably repair. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Um, know anything about the auto mechanical in the janitor's closet? The unit is a cleaning Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Okay. Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Tell me a joke. How often do I make jokes about chemistry? Periodically. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. Oh, dear Lord, no. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. Right. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. Um, play back the uh, distress yes, Captain. Signal. Beginning playback now. There's. There's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no! No, no, no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Okay, so... I request we'll you see do about not it. wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. You don't sleep. Alright, we're gonna go there in a second. I wanna read up on Sam for a moment. You notice how our crew's a lot like that crime family from the Masked Marketeer? Oh, which one's the captain? You know the head of the family? Never shows up on screen, but everybody's scared of him? That's the boss. <laughs> and everyone's got different theories about what they're really up to? I can see that. Okay, thank you, I guess. I don't really consider myself a crime lord in this game, but... Alright, where it... Uh, to tell you... Oh, about the medicine. Uh, it's just to let you know I've gotten out of the rest of that you-know-what to the you-know-who's... Oh, dead. Sorry for the secrecy. Uh... You never really know what... Okay. Appreciate you giving me the time of day. Risk your neck heading it into that community. Okay. Well... Oh! Wait. No. That's the chick from, uh... Edgewater. Uh, we're talking about... Oh, wait. Two prov oh, she forwarded this to me? Huh. Talking about old friends, you know. Been thinking about Isabel... 
Hmm. Party T. All right, search term Sam. Don't forget to discard the sanitation and maintenance. Okay. What is that? I'll leave that there because I don't really need it. Find an acid sweeper. I don't know where to get that. But let's just go to Roseway now. On Terra 2. Okay, so that's what the planet's called. We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. All right. I need a word. Okay. This Roseway business smells. How so? Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call. And whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. Uh, do we know anything about who sent the call? What are you suggesting? What's there to know, Captain? Shady corporate town caught up in shady corporate shit. Tough luck for them, but maybe an opportunity for us. Of course. Someone needs help, Ellie. We're not, uh, not going to, we're going to give him that. Could be a trap. It could be a trap, but I, I don't think so. Why would the corporate, why wouldn't they just call for corporate reinforcements? With a lot of these companies, the thrashing you take from your boss is worse than whatever a bunch of marauders will do to you. Doesn't exactly encourage calling for aid when there's a fuck up. I mean, the dude made it sound like there was a giant animal attacking. I'm counting on it. Anyway, we might as well take a look out there, see if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us. Oh, definitely. We're, that, that's where we're going. Remember that you are not insured. Thank you, Ada. Uh, since you're concerned, we're taking you, Ellie. Okay, well, here we are. No security. Not that I'm complaining. Yeah, you shouldn't be. Now let's check the docking terminal. Nothing. All right, you, my dear, need some armor. Although your clothes is probably better than that. 11, seven, three, 10, 17. That's better. It's a little too quiet. I don't trust it. Something with more teeth than is strictly necessary. Strictly necessary teeth? I mean, correct, but... The amount of teeth you have is what's necessary. right or it seemed to be right heavy ammo can I turn this thing off nope plasma weakness uh, getting burned too many times has made you susceptible to plasma damage I don't see many plasma what I'm not taking that. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Uh, five interactable height highlight range, what? Quiet weapon damage. 
dialogue skills. 10. Let's, uh, 15% health restored per kill. You know, let's actually do this. I want to do that. I'm quite the dialogue-oriented character. Or at least I'm trying to be. Incoming! Get on. Oh boy. Oh dear lord, what fresh hell is this? Okay. I have a feeling that we might be a little bit under leveled for here. I don't know. All right. So, let's plug a little bit in the stealth. What do, you, what do you need from me? Oh, you gotta level up stuff. Heal amount granted. Okay. Range damage, armor rating. Let's do that. There you go. Alright, girls. They left their own outside to fly? Was it that bad? Seems like it, and I still hear gunfire on the other side. Oh, that was horrific. What the hell was that? Okay. Hey, Burke, you alright there? You injured? Or I think that's how you pronounce your name. I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. What happened here? Did you send the distress call? He very clearly didn't. Uh, guess this answers your question as where the tarmac security is, Ellie. Uh, they pay you to whine? Somehow, I'm not reassured, Captain. Yeah. You and me both, ma'am. All right, so what happened? Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Can you tell me who's in charge? You said they broke loose? You had in case that, yeah, they in, were in here? Um, forget I said anything about that. Well, can you at least tell me about them? Uh, tell me who's in charge? Wish they tasted like Sissy Pig. Them's good eating. What do they taste like? Some say chicken. I say the north end of a southbound woolly cow. Anything else you'd like to know? Yeah, who's in charge? Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Lovely. Okay, well, thanks. Oh, before I forget, Anti Cleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. Doubt it. You didn't need to tell me that, because I don't care. Oh, well, we got plenty of meat for dinner. <laughs> Alright, so that is. Wait, what did that. Who did that say? Orson. Vaughn, Anton. Carry on. Oh, fuck off. Okay. Let's talk to Crane. I think he's the one who sent the distress signal. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? One of who? 
attack right the first time. I'm not doing that. If I was here to kill you, you'd already be dead. What? I, um, I'm Anton Crane, the lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I, uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Mm-hmm. Under control, not from where I'm standing. What are you hiding? Uh, what caused you to panic in the first place? Who did this? Uh, who did you think I was? Uh, let's cut to the chase to... Why, one of our attackers, of course. Obviously, they were drawn here in an attempt to make off with my research. But why cancel the distress call? What are you researching? I'm not at liberty to discuss the nature of the work I'm doing here. Suffice it to say that its importance to me, uh, to the colony, is immeasurable. Mm-hmm. My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. As it usually does. I cut the does. call immediately once I've gathered my wits. The Home Office can't know what's happening here. Captain's got your best interests at heart, mister. Honest. I suppose it can't hurt. If I don't get that research back, my life is over regardless. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. So toothpaste. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? Only if you, uh, like me to punch you in the throat! While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. So you were messing around in a Raptodon's guts and then found something to quell hunger. Uh, you can couch it however you like. It's still toothpaste. Diet toothpaste. Not just any diet toothpaste. The ultimate diet toothpaste. Yeah, but wh why why'd you choose toothpaste then and not like some miracle diet pill? Uh, it's not worth your life. I don't care if it's the ultimate rocket fuel. Oh, I'm certain it could be made into that as well, with only a few changes to its molecular composition. But you're missing the point. Let's focus for a moment, shall we? Even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. What, what does Apazap mean? Nice, is it not? Came up with that myself. It's a shame our marketing department is almost as befuddled as my co-workers here. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us. Shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. Mm. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. Uh, remove the Cretans, uh, retrieve the research check. Uh, you want I should handle the Raptodon problem? A little over dramatic, wouldn't you say? Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and keycard. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original by the Grand Architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. I'm assuming that's your lab assistant? My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors and I forgot him. Right, uh, sounds like it was chaos. You should give yourself a break. You left him to die, you should be ashamed of yourself. You don't understand. He was my responsibility. All of the people stationed here were, are, regardless of their thinking on the matter. If he has died, too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name. And far too much paperwork. Right, the paperwork is the problem. Uh, and you care all about how that affects you. I'll thank you not to mistake my ambition for callousness. 
Uh, what should I mistake it for? Because, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound like compassion. Uh, you must see how one could exactly do exactly that, can't you? If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. Just wanted to hear you admit that you're a heartless bastard. <laughs> Thanks! Uh... You can see why people might think you're callous, can't you? I understand I can come off as manipulative and ego-driven. It's something I've always been forced to contend with. And my colleague, Jameson, will you find him for me? Sure. All right. We're... He said his key card and stuff was where? Somewhere in here? That's more to stealing. Gone. It's gotta be like a... Oh yeah, uh... Find Anton safe. Wait, oh. Oh, in here. I don't know about Dr. Crane's research, but we ought to find Mr. Jameson. He's got to be all alone, scared. The ventilation shaft runs from the bottom of the lab to the top of the hill, over the garage. Top of the hill's rafted on territory. Sit down. Maybe we should also... Do we want to talk to, uh, literally everyone else? Wait, huh? Okay, so this one is find is safe, eliminate the outlaws, deal with the raptor dogs. Dons. Okay, so that's that's the one that brought us here. Rescue Jameson. I don't need to do it myself. I can stay here. We'll you figure want. it out. Okay. Oh wow, he has no head. Ammo. Uh, let me actually see how much, if at all, better that armor is. That's quite better. Do I have the option to hide that? No. There we go. Captain. Am I over encumbered? Why can't I run? It doesn't say it. That's the last of them. That's weird. Um let's break that down and see what happens. Nope, it's still some some up with me. There we go. That's better. That's got to be where Mr. Jameson is. I hope he's okay. Of course, I come in here and there's inside voices. Just dark uh, red marks all over the place. This place clean. Okay. And let's be slow and steady about it. 
someone knows how to make an entrance. Oh shit. Yeah, they do. Watch out! There you go, uh, Pravati. Thank you. What the hell are y'all beating on? It's gone. It's dead. this nothing I can take oh that's right I now have weakness to uh plasma For that went down fast. Okay, we're good. Teamwork. Wailing on an animal for about five minutes. Oh. So it's he's through here. Help. Let's take bets on what shuts him up first. A hungry rap or my backhand. What? How the hell did you get in here? Open the door. <laughs> shot the first raptodon first shot the raptodon then I walked up the stairs and <laughs> I'm very sneaky or raps aren't quite observant take your pick who cares no not I don't care about the beasts I care about the front door this is an egregious breach of protocol how'd you get it Anton sent me to get you truth be told the raptodons uh, did most of the work on the door not sure they know what the lock is. Damnable beasts. At least I'm not trapped here anymore. I'll see you back at town. All right, well, we got him. All right, now, oh, wrong button. talk to Anton. We're not going to do that yet. We're going to find his safe. And there's a legless colleague. Oh, 
Okay. Jesus. Alright, this should be a way out. There we go. Oh my god. Just bullet sponges. Please tell me it's on its last one. Almost. Okay. Let's do some killing. Or further killing. My body's not looking so good. What the hell was that? This is the way around should be. Oh, hello. Is this wreckage? Is that a perk? Yeah, that's an outlaw. Okay. Oh my god! Everyone all right? Oh, that's Ellie. Alright, we're good, we're we're good. Actually, let's go back and try to loot the mechanical if we can. Not much. We going in there? The mysterious doors are the funnest sorts of doors. Covert ah. lab. Okay. Reminds me of my first cabin on the Groundbreaker. Four roommates, one bathroom. And a bunch of dead roommates? Raptodons are meat. Vending machine. Okay, well, we found the set of gas. Eliminate the outlaws. Is this where we... Okay. What is this one? Raptodons. Is that in here? Get away! 
Oh, jeez. Take that. Exit. What does this take us to? Rosemary Gardens. data, eliminate the outlaws, and wrap the nuts. Those, see, those seem like they're deeper in. One. Okay, he's dead. Oh. Options, let's do repair. Break it down. Ooh, let's, uh, come on. there we go. Oh, Jesus. Where's that? Hey, you. Over here. What's up? Oh, good. You're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. <coughs> Sorry to disappoint you. I suppose it does not matter. Either Crane sent you, or you are some scavenger come to rob me in my moment of weakness. Let's make a deal. I'd like to go on living. You'd probably like to make some money. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for your trouble. Or I could just shoot you and skip the hostile, the hassle. Uh, you're gonna have to make a better offer. You mean other than the satisfaction of doing me a good turn? Trust me, I'll make it worth your while. I don't know, my while's worth a lot. I am good for my word. You will be equitably rewarded on my honor. But I will not haggle or bargain with you until you help me. Same reason you are, more than likely. I imagine we picked up the same tip. Secret research facility, abandoned town, minimal security. No, I'm tracking a distress call. No, but it is a secret. Well hidden. Off the map. Any place worth hiding is worth raiding. Granted, diet toothpaste is not exactly what comes to mind when I imagine secret research and underground labs. <laughs> Did you say diet toothpaste? Diet toothpaste? Can you imagine a more pernicious example of corporate materialism? I do not, not really. know what is worse. Working here or dying here? I'd say dying here. So you went through all this trouble to steal a formula for diet toothpaste. I'm not going to get over it. It's diet toothpaste. And I am glad you have the luxury of sarcasm. Whereas I have been made to spend my day listening to my crew die to corporate guns and hungry raps. This job was not supposed to end with me stuck in some wretched lab smelling like raps. So I would be very much obliged if you gave me a break. What do you need? Uh, what's in it for me? You mean other than the satisfact- Oh, okay. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door, but Clio security's bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, 
I suppose you could talk to them. The other way out is through the loading bay. But you'd have to clear out the rafts for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. Right. Uh, Anton was worried he might have made off with the research. He called you cretins. So you lied about not knowing Crane. I suppose I do not blame you. We liberated that research. We did not steal it. And yes, a few scientists were caught in the crossfire. Right. You robbed a lab and shot some scientists on the way out. Sounds like bandits to me. You misreckon me. My conscience is what keeps me from throwing in with these corporate parasites. I would rather die than spend my life in a lab coat researching diet toothpaste. I mean, that's cool, but you just sort of burst in, killed a bunch of people, and released a bunch of raptodons for something that is probably not worth anything. It is my one bargaining chip. If you want this research, you will help me out of this mess. You might be the first stroke of luck I've had all day. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Uh... Nothing beyond the purview of a talented freelancer like you. You really expect me to just let them pass? Why? So they can regroup behind their walls and mount another assault? Never mind. I'm obviously in no position to argue with you. If you can talk those guards into standing down, my people will follow suit. Take your time. I am, to my chagrin, not going anywhere. All right, well, I think we'll figure out a way, well, first, Huh, hold on. Okay. Well, this is cool. Because I didn't intend on letting her leave, but, you know, still. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, but we'll, uh... Let, let's see where this puts us back at. <clears throat> but I, I think we'll return and... We'll uh, see about getting her out when we return in a moment. So I thank you so much for watching, and I will be back in a second. Mm -hmm.